Hello Gemini, welcome to your love tarot reading. This is a general love tarot reading for you and your person, whatever that means for you. It could be established relationship, situationship, uh, new love connection, something you met on Bumble yesterday. Um, this is general reading, please bear this in mind, Gemini. And yeah, if you vibe with my videos and my reads, I would love it if you wanted to subscribe, maybe like my videos as well, you know, comment below. You know what to do, Gemini. Uh, let's take a look at you and your person. What happened in the recent past to make the situation so? Mm. Nine of Wands. Burdens. Burdens. Someone wanted to bring something to a completion, regardless of any obstacles. Almost like to the point of just like brute force. Okay, let's see. Okay, what happened between you and your third person? Yeah, someone kept going despite of how burdened they felt. Yeah, wow, Ten of Wands, worries. You felt like you were working on this relationship by yourself, whatever this, you know, connection was. Uh, you were by yourself, you felt abandoned, and you felt alone in all the work and all the burdens. You felt like, like you were trying to like fit a square peg in a round hole, like, you know, here's this person try and move forward with this relationship and you got like one horse going this way the other horse going that way you just can't like just can't make it work like something just wasn't working you felt really alone in it and you were also kept in the dark about some things and you felt like you were alone in it you were like it was almost sometimes you almost felt gemini you felt like you were like walking around um you know like just walking around the world looking for your person where is my person we're supposed to be in a relationship or a love interest i feel like it's a relationship I feel like the storyline is going to be more for a relationship even if it's a new relationship you know it's something established where you were expecting that person to be there for you you know or maybe it's like soulmate feel you know something like that like a deeper connection where like that person promised you they'd be there for you and you kind of went out there like looking for, well where are you now like where are you and they weren't there you know it's like this person walking around an empty house calling out their name and nobody's responding Wow. I just got this thought. First, like, this is going to be, this is a little dark. Um, getting some dark reads today. This is going to be a little dark. This is not going to resonate with everyone. And, you know, don't worry, I'm not putting stuff out there. But for some of you, you were recently bereaved. Your person died. Like, I'm not, like, I'm sorry. This is, like, this is terrible, right? Because like, we don't want to hear that. But someone might be watching this who, like, you're looking for answers. Your person died. Your person died. But don't worry. They're, you know, they're with you, whether you can feel it or not. This is just a message for a specific person or some specific people out there. But there, there might be a specific person out there. You feel all by, your, all by yourself, like you were cast out. Without them, you're nothing. The funeral yeah like you're by yourself you were betrayed by other people around that situation too maybe your person died and then you realized in this death who your real friends were maybe maybe there's some conflict around like funerals wills stuff like that but just keep faith um you know things get better people heal Um, people heal. Things get better. Let me just clarify that. Yeah, your heart, your heart broken. Your heart broken. Your heart was broken because this person died. But we all have access to, you know, the universal and stuff like that. This is gonna, this is gonna hurt for a long time, but you will get over it. I have personal experience of this. Uh, I think that's why I'm getting this message through. I have personal experience of this. In my life, something like this happened. And I felt very alone. Uh, yeah, and the Three of Swords here. So whether it is that you felt, whether you feel alone, this is the majority of this read. For, for those of you out there, you feel alone because this person kind of left you all, all alone in this relationship. Yeah, and they weren't taking it to, um, to the next level. Or uh, they took it to the next level. You know, they did the right stages um like you were venturing together 
Um, but they came unprepared. It was like they were unprepared. It's like they didn't put in the effort, you know? Half-assed it. So for a lot of you, you were just feeling alone, wandering around this earth, wondering where your person is. There's a specific strata of you that I'm getting a message for you. If that person died, please be comforted. This is heartbreak. I know it's heartbreak, but this is, these these are things we don't, you know, we don't know about. This is something we can't explain, and it's really not not something to even try, even try try to understand. You know, sometimes things happen for for no reason, and it's, that's why it's called a tragedy. Okay, that's the message I'm getting. Please be comforted. I'm sending you my love, sending you my love and my support for those of you who lost their person if their person died. Uh, let's take a look at your person's feelings for those who felt alone in their relationship and it was like a symbolic death. <laughs> yeah, your person's like really stupid. <laughs> let's clarify this person. Then the cups, this relationship, situation, you know, whatever uh, your love connection is is like a wish fulfilled for them. This is what they want. They love it. They love it. That's what they want. They want to come and get it. But they're really hot-headed. And they kind of see you like as... They, they see what they have with you. As like that is their happiness. That is their... This is their, their, their life's journey. They see you as marriage material as well. For wands. But it's kind of a little flimsy, you know? It's like their foundations in their life are not very steady. Okay, let's see your feelings about the situation. Gemini, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you felt really rejected in this relationship. You felt unseen. You felt like this person left you no choice but to leave this relationship. So you're not, you know, because three of swords here. You were heartbroken because you felt so alone. There's definitely a finality here. I think you just... It was like you were waiting for a message for them, from them or you were waiting for them to do something. You know, if it's a new dating situation, we're waiting for them, for them to text you or text you back and they never did. And you just like blocked them or ghosted them in the end. You just dwindled away. Or if it's like more established relationship, you left this relationship. You waited and waited for them to change and they never did. Knight of Cups. Yeah. You're still, you know, you still have feelings for this person. You still would like it to work. Queen of Wands, you know? You, you feel... You miss them. You feel very attracted to them. But at the heart of it is your your own heartache. You know? You cannot go back to this. You cannot go back to this, like, in and out energy. These, like, flimsy messages, promises. This, You know, you're, like, remembering this. You're remembering this person promised me that everything is going to be okay. This person promised me we're going to get to the next level. This person promised me love. They said they loved me, but they didn't deliver. Yeah, some of wands, everything. And it's inner conflict. Like, this only brought in inner conflict to you. They hung you out to dry. They, they put you on the shelf. They didn't hang man. Like, they didn't pay the attention to you that you deserved. Where was this person? Wh what were they doing? Because all the cards I see here, all I see here is you being by yourself. You being alone. Trying to make something work that's just not working. Wandering around. Like, where is this person? Keeping you in the dark. I don't know what they were doing. Um, but it definitely caused you a uh, heartache, Three of Swords. But it was your loneliness that caused you the heartache. You didn't need... What was this person doing? Seriously. Okay, let's, um, well, actually, um, let's take a look at this person. Ten of Pentacles. What were they doing, Ten of Pentacles? So they're trying to build a family with you? Or for some of you, oh my god, I feel like for some of you, geez, Gemini, I feel like for some of you, your person has a family that you don't know about or you did know about. But they made you feel like they could build a, a family with you. Yeah, the sun. Something was illuminated recently. You felt like this person, high priestess here, um, were leaving, maybe they were leaving you for longer periods of time, right? And you just always felt alone. They never had time for you. They had to work long hours, you know, whatever it was. Then it turned out the sun, <laughs> something was illuminated with the sun and it was the Ten of Pentacles, you know, happy families, white picket fence. They have a family, they're married. They're married. They're secretly married. You may, most of you, most of you didn't know, or you suspected, or they told you they were in the middle of a divorce, but they weren't really. 
you know they're making you wait for them it's that kind of person that like oh well, let me just get everything in order and then like then i'll be free but i need another year or two or whatever it was you waited and waited and for others of you they were just doing other stuff you know they just didn't just didn't value you enough maybe it was work yeah or they have a strong family influence like their um you know parents or you know siblings something like that maybe a family business they were um kind of uh had loyalty to over you maybe they could be very traditional people some of pentacles yeah they could have been working or they could have been working with people maybe they were having like a bit of an affair at work but like i'd see them more as an emotional affair maybe they were just like had like a co-worker that they like a little too much you just felt alone so alone okay gemini uh this person's next action towards you you're not speaking though I don't, mm. Ugh, okay. Mm, mm. Nothing good. You know, you had enough. You had enough here. They betrayed you. They left you all alone. Five of Pentacles. Yeah, this person has flimsy foundations. They're not very serious. They don't know what they want. With a fortune, the, their next action towards you is just, it's going to be change again. Change again. It's going to teach you an important karmic lesson. Four of swords. They're going to they're gonna do more hangman bullshit. They're going to try and, like, persuade you to keep work, waiting for them. You know, like, four of swords is rest. They're like, oh, just, you know, wait for me. Uh, I have some things I need to clear up. We need, to, like, they, they're they going to keep telling you they love you. They want to be in a relationship with you. They will be nowhere to be seen because they have priorities outside of you. And most definitely, for, for most of you, it's another family. For others, it's just themselves, their job. They maybe have, like, a very strong overbearing family ties. They run a family business, and they need to take, take care of that. Um, Four of Cups. They're going to give you an offer you have to refuse. It's just... It, the offer they're giving is just not enough um it's just not enough and they also don't know how to receive love five of swords this is going to end in a fight and conflict you will be the loser in the end that's their next action this does not mean that it's like the long-term prospect it's going to end in tears but i just don't see anything very positive coming out of it we can just take a little quick peek at the long-term prospects with this person <laughs> king of swords came out yeah biting serious conversations page of cups immaturity yeah this is someone who's going to be like they're going to keep cutting their themselves kind of off and then coming back in immature behavior the moon you're not going to know what's going on I, yeah i just see like in the long term this could be trouble for you let's see i mean it's obviously up to you um it's obviously up to you, but if this person is too timing other people or, you know, I mean, this is someone who caused you heart heartache. I just see you wandering around, Gemini, wandering around like there's just echo. Everybody's just, you're, you're on, all on your own. Where is my person? Where is my person? They said, that they told me we were in a relationship. They told me they loved me, but where are they? You know, where are they every day? When I wake up in the morning, where is this person? Okay. Uh, some, uh, other love advice outside of this situation for Gemini. Yeah. Four of Wands again. That was your person's feelings. And the Hermit, Angel of Reflection. The High Priestess. Okay. So uh, this is the order. We got the High Priestess first. You were kept in the dark about things. Here, this is the High Priestess again. You know, you got this. This is you wandering around, not knowing where your person is. The high priestess here is the angel of power. You know, this journey of the soul where this person hurt you so much and abandoned you, emotionally at least, gave you a kind of power, you know. This was, a, this was a lesson. Lessons give us power. Take that power, you know. Take that power away from the person, from the hurt, and use that to transform yourself. The priestess knows. She just knows. She has wisdom. She has arcane knowledge she's connected to the divine use that to transform yourself this is very um you know alchemy kind of energy this is deep knowledge uh kabbalah stuff like that you know just know that these experiences of pain and hurt um 
they can be transmuted into a higher energy and that's what you will do uh the hermit because you know once you've been through this experience with this horrible person you're having your this is the angel of reflection in this deck you know you're just you're reflecting on it you're having some alone time you're, you're taking yourself outside of society for a little bit just to have like some alone time it could just be like a weekend of not going out you know and just thinking about what happened working on yourself self-actualization uh being with yourself listening to your inner voice and we have freedom four of wands uh, four of wands is the card of freedom here but it's the card of friendship reunion 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 uh it's uh, the card of a kind of home it, it, it can be a homecoming a joyful event you know they share with other people but it is also love and it's the prospect of new love and it is also uh weddings celebrations you know of the family in the family uh this could very well mean a new love coming in someone who is going to be marriage material for you but who will and who will free you of the shadow of this bad experience that you had with this person who really really broke your heart because they really really left you by yourself and they're not going to be coming back in with a better offer everything they offer you is four of cups it's going to be a disappointment you're going to be disappointed in the offer this is not an offer you should consider because they have nothing to give i'm so sorry gemini i'm so sorry it can't be easier but you will you're coming out of this you know four of wands there's there's new celebration new happiness coming joyful events that could lead to a serious relationship and weddings you will be absolutely fine you're beautiful and uh you know here in the high priestess you're like in your power people are very like the high priestess it's not just about spirituality the high priestess and again disregard the gender um is just symbolic but people love her like she's so attractive in the dating scene she's just like you know people fall hard for the high priestess so you could be that you know that person that you know vampy it could be a vamp it could it could just be like someone with a little bit of mystery or it could just be someone with extreme like um sexual energy that people get drawn to or very like mystical or very uh, magical or very cute you know like whatever the high priestess means to you so you will definitely be popular on the dating scene you will get over it for sure you will transform and transmute yourself do not go back to this dark energy please gemini take care of yourself i do wish love was easier thank you for coming here today if you resonated with this reading if this reading resonated with you rather please leave a comment below and i will see you next time may the angels protect you